WordPress has a feature where it can make custom menus such that the user of a theme can make new menus, populate them with their own items, um, great for making navigations for their blog, that sort of thing. For this, if you want to ex um, uh, expose this functionality in your themes, then you'll need to use the uh, WordPress menu tree uh, feature that SiteGrunner has. And so for this, we're going to use the menu tree hint, and it's also used in conjunction with the WP hint. So in this particular case, I've got my top WP menu tree, meaning this is my uh, top uh, menu. We have the WP hint so that SiteGrunner knows this is the WordPress menu tree that we're concerned about. Now, this menu uh, contains a menu item named about, and so I've also made another menu tree named about WP menu tree. Now, because the name, the base name of this item is about, and that matches the same name as that other menu item, this is going to become a submenu uh, to this. Now, when we're talking about having a menu and a submenu for a WordPress theme, meaning of the WP menu tree things, we're not, this, these actual text is not going to appear on any page. Um, we're not going to see about pages and cool um, on our theme when we build it, nor are we going to see it when we uh, take it over to WordPress, um, nor are we going to see this lorem ipsum. We're using these two layers just so that we can customize their text and their styles and things like that. Um, in this particular case, this is a, a menu with very large text for Donna that's black, and this has uh, very large text that's uh, uh, Trajan Pro, I believe, and blue, and has a little bit of a left margin on it. When uh, um, so let's just restore our other items, if you remember from the previous videos. When this page is built, it looks like this. So here we are in the Design Manager. Notice that our video, our, uh, our menu, has been replaced by um, a dummy menu that SiteGround provides. So it's named, so it's got home fruits and vegetables in it, and the fruit has oranges, apples, and grapes, and the apples have uh, some submenus to them, and the vegetables have uh, submenus in, in them as well. Now this menu was already styled in the Design Manager. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, see the videos about menu tree usage itself. We're just focusing on the WordPress side of the menu tree at this point in time. So the menu is here. It's got our, our blue Trajan text and our black Verdana text and the styles we've applied in the Design Manager. It's being populated with dummy material by SiteGrinder while we're looking at it in preview mode. Well, let's go ahead and deploy it to WordPress theme and actually set this menu. So let me come once again and open up SiteGrinder on this. Now I've already made a WordPress uh, um, theme testing site, so I'm not going to go through the site creation again, but we have a different video on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, deploy this to uh, theme for testing and send it over there. So SiteGrinder has converted that to a WordPress theme. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring up my WordPress dashboard. So here I am, I'm running my local version of WordPress. And if I come down here to the Themes tab, I will see the theme that I just deployed a second ago. There it is. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Now, this theme has a custom menu. I'm not sure this, my blog right now is not using a custom menu. So all we're going to see inside this custom menu is our, uh, the default pages menu that, um, that WordPress provides um, for the default. But if we want, we can customize this menu instead. So let's come here to the menus item in the appearance control of my uh, uh, control there. And as you can see, I can make um, a new menu here. So I'm going to call this um, my uh, superhero uh, menu. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and then now, once I've got that, you'll notice here it says theme locations. Um, my theme supports one menu, select which menu you'd like to use. This menu top here is the same name as my um, menu tree layer, if you remember from the Photoshop file, this top WP menu tree. As many root menu trees are in your theme design, they will each appear here. So if I had top WP menu tree and uh, something else WP menu tree, it would also appear here. Now note about WP menu tree does not appear because it was already set up to be a sub menu 
of the top menu. So we're just using it for styling. All right, so I'm going to say that for the top, I want my new superhero menu to be the menu that is used. And so for this uh, superhero menu, I guess I just need to add some uh, menu items to it. And so uh, um, I'll just say uh, Marvel and uh, I'll add that to the menu. And maybe I'll make one for DC and add that to the menu. And then we'll add uh, a link for, uh, for Spider-Man. Superman and Batman, of course, very important. Don't forget Mighty Batman. I can remember that he's one word. And uh, uh, we also this Iron Man. There we go. Now there's other sorts of things I can put in here in the the. That I can add individual pages that I've created, categories, that sort of stuff. There's quite a bit of menu customization you could do. I'm just not interested at the moment. And uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, add these um, menus to where they're supposed to be. And add Iron Man up here. Um, of course, Batman is better than Superman, so he'll go first. And um, there we go. So now I've made my little menu. I'll go ahead and save that. So let's now go back to my theme. And there it is, Marvel and DC Comics. And if I click on Marvel, I see Spider-Man and Iron Man. And if I click DC Comics, Batman and Superman. So I'm actually on my WordPress theme. I'm making posts, all this sort of stuff. And the user is able to customize the menus that we set up with the WP menu tree. Uh, hopefully this was useful to you. And uh, uh, thank you for listening.